The Norfolk Southern train, which derailed February 3rd due to an overheated wheel bearing, had been inspected multiple times before it reached East Palestine, Ohio, including the massive Norfolk Southern Yard in Decatur the previous day. A union representative saying company rules give carmen who will carry out the inspections only about one minute to inspect both sides of each car. They're only giving the car inspectors 30 seconds a side to inspect the freight cars. A uh, supervisor scorning the mechanical employees when they spent 45 seconds aside. NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy wants to take a deeper look at how inspections take place when a carman is not available. There's an alternative when a carman is not available for a locomotive engineer or conductor to do a limited uh, uh, inspection of the rail car. And I want to dig into some of those differences. The Federal Railroad Administration fired off a letter in September to Norfolk Southern's president questioning the company's curtailing of the use of carmen and using other employees who may not have extensive training in the maintenance and repair of equipment. Chairman Hamandy is also critical of the amount of time for the incident commander in Ohio in charge of first responders not being given a list of what was in derailed tank cars for a long period of time. For the incident commander, it's very clear that he wasn't given that. He found it on a table as he walked into the command center. Norfolk Southern has maintained the information was provided in a timely manner. Indicator Doug Wolf reporting WAND News.